Hello, I'm Rick from ModMaker. Welcome to another modding product review. Hello, today I'm going to show you the Mod Meter version 2. We've just had it made, it's an improvement on version 1. Um, and if you don't know what it is, it's an ohm meter basically. It takes your voltage and your resistance and shows you your wattage and your amp draw. So pretty handy really for anyone who wants to know that information when they're vaping on a hand on a homemade mod. So let's dive down and I'll show you what it looks like and how it works. So here we have the version two mod meter. So what are the differences between this and mod meter version one? Well, it's the same size. We've got longer wires on this one and this version two has been beefed up to be able to take up to 4S voltage. So it won't pop if you put too much voltage into it. There are some differences with the display. I'll show you those now. Okay, this is a version one display. See it's got a battery indicator. On the version two, we've got, a, got rid of that battery indicator and now we've got a voltage in. So it tells you numerically What's, what sort of level your batteries are at. Um, we've also got voltage out on the right hand side. So voltage in, that's your battery level. Voltage out is what's going to your 510. There's also a different wattage font on there. But apart from that, that's about it. I will show you though that there are four wires on this. We've got a battery plus and a battery minus. These wires always need to be connected to a battery source all the time your mod's in use um, to power the meter. What I suggest doing with that is putting a slide switch on the positive uh, to turn it off when you're not using the mod because it does use a small amount of current all the time it's switched on. And these two F plus and F minus wires are connected to your 510 positive and negative. And when you've done all that, it'll light up and show you all the numbers. So there we have it, that's the mod meter version 2. Okay there we have mod meter version 2. Works perfectly with Raptor builds and with Murata OKL and OKR boards. Works perfect with P channel MOSFET builds but it doesn't work with N channel MOSFET builds. Connecting this to an N channel MOSFET build will make your mod auto fire. Um, P, as in regards to PWM it doesn't work well with PWM it will display the voltage in and the resistance of your coil perfectly well which is quite handy to know but if you if you're looking for accurate numbers you're not going to get it because PWM doesn't output a straight line voltage um, and it's the same for any voltmeter that you use so mod meter is just the same as a voltmeter where the numbers won't be accurate until you've got it up to 100% so you won't get good numbers that way but you will be able to check your battery levels which is quite cool really um, but yeah that's it that's the mod meter version 2 I'll put links to it in the description below and uh, go check it out thanks ever so much for watching and I'll catch you next time